We need to talk about the Wayfair conspiracy. This company has been accused of trafficking children on their site. There are the same white cabinets being sold at different prices and with different names. Some of these names include minors who went missing. So could they have been trafficked and sold on Wayfair? Or is this a conspiracy taking away from the real problem? Let's get into it. So the owner of Wayfair.com is named Niraj Shah. He's the CEO and he founded the company back in 2002. Wayfair.com is a website that sells home goods and furniture and cabinets and pillows and a bunch of different things, but they found themselves in a human trafficking scandal. Tens of thousands of social media users took screenshots of Wayfair and connected these items that were being sold for very high prices with kids who had gone missing. Uh, the company in question is American. It's called Wayfair. As you can see, it sells furniture and home goods, but it's recently had to deny it's part of a child trafficking ring. When it comes to the scandal itself, it's really been erased from the internet, and honestly, it was pretty hard to find some receipts. But when this situation was trending on social media, there were so many people talking about it that Wayfair can't get rid of everything. There were people on Twitter begging the FBI to look into Wayfair because they were selling these cabinets in particular for way too much and using the names of children. But it wasn't just cabinets. There were also tables and certain items like... I mean, this desk right here named Mariana was sold for $16,000, which maybe it's some bougie desk. But really, the main products that went viral were these shelf storage cabinets, which were sold for thousands and thousands of dollars and had interesting names like this one, Piper, sold for $7,000. And then we have the same storage unit named Brian sold for almost $10,000. So why is this even more when it's the same item? And when looking at these items in particular, it looks like these items were coming from Walnut Creek, California. When people started doing their own investigating and looking into Walnut Creek, California, they found some stories which were really concerning, like this one, which exposed a human trafficking scheme going on in Walnut Creek, California, girls as young as nine allegedly being bought and sold in this Bay Area, which I guess it would be convenient if they could use a public platform to do their selling. And even though this situation with Wayfair is a conspiracy, I would like to acknowledge that human trafficking is very real and it's everywhere. And these people, they're smart. They have figured out ways to operate in our society using the same tools that we use. And I wouldn't doubt it if they, you know, used Wayfair as a way to make their sales because it's like, who's going to be paying attention to this furniture website? The conspiracy initially started on Reddit by a user named Princess Peach 1987. They shared four different storage cabinets, which were all the same and were all very expensive. And they also all had the names of missing children. These storage units were going for 10000 dollars plus which is way too much and again they're all like pretty much the same so why are they so expensive i do want to note that i tried to find every name associated with these cabinets like as far as missing children i wasn't able to locate them all but i was able to find some is it possible wayfair is involved in human trafficking or are these just extremely overpriced cabinets now this post shows four cabinets on wayfair.com ranging from 12 to 14 thousand dollars and it draws attention to their names. But within hours, these claims started popping up as well. Internet sleuths looked into the names of the cabinets and found that in each instance, there was a matching missing person case. So let's talk a little bit about these cabinets that this Reddit user shared, because I've been able to locate some of the people who were accused of being part of this cabinet scheme and some I haven't been able to locate. And one person I wasn't able to locate is Yaritza. Yaritza is only 16 years old and she's from Connecticut and went missing in June 2020. There was a cabinet listed at almost $13,000 named Yaritza's storage cabinet. Like I said, I haven't found any updates on Yaritza, so I'm sending prayers to her and her family, only 16 years old, but she went missing around the time that this conspiracy theory was going on. Maybe the situation going viral could help find some of these missing people but at the same time if it's not a human trafficking scheme then we're paying attention to it for the wrong reasons because there are so many people being human trafficked out there that if we're 
causing all this fuss for these people who aren't actually even missing, then that's problematic. And that did happen with one of these cabinets. So this picture has been shared all over the internet because there was a cabinet named Samaya and it was being sold for $13,000. I don't know where this article came from because they claimed that Samaya was missing from Ohio, only 17 years old, but Samaya claims that they were never missing from the first place. This article claims Samaya Muman was reported missing last year, and there was a $13,000 cabinet named Samaya on Wayfair, but Samaya wasn't in the Ohio missing persons database. I don't know where that article could have come from if Samaya wasn't ever in the Ohio missing person base and if she was never missing from the beginning. It really like makes me uncomfortable because it makes me think that this is a conspiracy that someone's trying to push and they're crafting these articles because why would she be wrapped up in it if she never even went missing in the first place? And in this case, they then pointed to the fact that the girls' names, the names of these cabinets, actually match the names of uh, missing children. Uh, it, usually in the US. Um, and one of the missing children that was named actually had to come out on a Facebook Live. She's a lady and she said, look, this is ridiculous. Why are you linking this to me? I didn't even go missing in the first place. And Samaya did go on Facebook Live to address the situation and she was really really upset what are y'all talking about y'all all sound stupid talking about why am i mad because i'm not missing F out of here F let me go get a picture of you bitch, and say you missing and then put a little mother cabinet next to it and have everybody share that shit. let's see how you feel F out of here I understand why Samaya would be upset because this could be very damaging and now if you do look up her name you'll see that there's Wayfair stuff all over the internet and that's because the situation went incredibly viral. But that hasn't stopped this conspiracy spreading all around the world. His data from Spreadfast, a social media analytics tool, it shows the global searches for the term Wayfair, mostly in the US but a huge amount of interest in Turkey and the UK too. The terms generated 4.4 million engagements on Instagram and has spread rapidly on public groups and pages on Facebook too, resulting in more than 12,000 posts and nearly a million direct engagements. When this went viral, Wayfair was scrambling. Initially, they said it was a conspiracy revolving around a price glitch, but like why would one white cabinet glitch when the entire website is working? How does a glitch affect only one product? And how are there so many duplicates of the same product ranging from $9,000 to $18,000 and all the names include missing children? And then it gets even creepier because you guys may know that there's a SKU number on a bunch of products. So when you buy something there's a skew i don't think i have anything around here but it's a barcode and it has like a number which identifies that product well people started using a russian search engine called yandex and they were typing in the skew numbers from wayfair onto this website and they would get some uncomfortable images so for example this cabinet brought up a bunch of young girls when you took the the skew number and typed it into yandex you would find a bunch of little girls in the image search database supposedly this is just some hiccup and if you type in any number into this database those pictures would come up but it still like does not help this conspiracy theory that wayfair is trafficking children when the numbers on this other database are associated with children and then we also also saw people suggesting that if you search some of the stock ids the numbers of the products on yandex which is a russian search engine uh, actually, uh, images of women appeared and that that was, again, part of this human trafficking ring that was related to Wayfair. I have to correct her because she said pictures of women came up, but those were definitely young girls. And it wasn't just these cabinets that were catching people's attention. There were also pillows that people were questioning. You've been online lately. You've probably seen claims that Wayfair.com is involved in human trafficking. The claims point to items like pillows or storage cabinets that cost tens of thousands of dollars. So there was a zodiac sign astrological pillow that was being sold for $9,999. The pillow itself was called the Duplessis Zodiac Sign Pillow. And the last name matched a missing girl whose name is Samara Dupless. Duplessis. Yeah, Duplissis, which is an interesting name. It's like, how do you come up with that name for a pillow? And also, why is a small pillow like 
why does it cost $10,000? And it's named after a 13 year old girl who just recently went missing at the time. When looking at the pillow itself, there's no explanation for why it would be so expensive. I mean, it literally mentions the price in the description. So it's not like this is some type of glitch if the pillow price is literally mentioned in the description multiple times and it's just a small basic polyester piece of fabric. Someone also took the SKU number of this pillow, so that number that you would use to identify the product, and they Googled it. They found this, which was a link to another pillow or something. And there's this term, I'm not even going to try to say it, Dzik, the, the D word right there in the corner. That term means something. And this person found that this term is a Polish word for children, which again adds to the like this conspiracy around this pillow. And why is this pillow named this and priced at this point? Especially when other websites have the same pillow and they're only like, what, 40 bucks for this pillowcase. So why would it be so much more? When this all went down, this story in particular went viral. And people were worried about this young 13 year old girl because, like, is she being sold off as a pillow on Wayfair? Fair. They quickly updated the ad and made the pillow price $32 and renamed it to Dolan, which is pretty like, I don't know, guilty acting. I mean, why did you even have to change the name? But thankfully, 13 year old Samara wasn't sold off as a pillow, but rather found by her family and she was completely safe. But yet this story does still stick to her. The way I confirmed that Samara was all right was that her family posted on Facebook that she was OK. It does actually seem that this Wayfair conspiracy did help people push this story. And the parents were super thankful and there were a lot of people involved. So I do feel like low key, the Wayfair situation maybe could have like brought this girl back home. And ultimately, there's a reason why this pillow was named after Samara, because it turns out that just Wayfair uses a bunch of names. And I, I'm like not surprised by this because like, you know, Ikea does like the same thing. But at the same time, like it's just really coincidental. The Duplessis pillow, for instance, that's not a typical product name, right? Well, it actually is typical on Wayfair. If you search Duplessis, you find rugs, tables, pillows, statues, lamps, and more, all with Duplessis in the name. And no, Wayfair didn't change these names after these claims came out. We checked archived pages and these products existed first. When we looked deeper into Wayfair's naming, we realized it's not hard to make a viral post like this. My last name, for instance, Puckett, isn't a common product name, but it is on Wayfair. I found tables, dressers, lamps, even beds with my last name. I feel like Wayfair should avoid using people's names and their products, especially for creepy, big, large white cabinets sold for $13,000, because this situation has been super damaging to those victims who've been wrapped up in the conspiracy. Samara actually spoke out about six months ago about what happened to her after this conspiracy theory, and she claims that she's lost sleep over it. So it turns out that Samara actually ran away on her own, and her parents found her after two days, but then a Twitter user found her story and then connected it to the Wayfair conspiracy and it blew up. Her father Kevin actually instructed her to stay in the home when this went viral because it wasn't safe for her to go out of the house and she wasn't able to be herself or to sleep properly because she was so stressed out about being wrapped up in this. Hopefully she'll be able to move past it but if you do look up her name it's pretty much all you see and it's something that's defining her and Samaya and those are situations they never asked to be in. But but Wayfair needs to take some responsibility because why are there pillows for $10,000? Why are there baby albums for $11,000? Cactus art for $99,000. There are so many overpriced items that are using children's names and a lot of people gathered this and it's not like they're just making it up. And of course, the influencer culture ate it up because everyone wanted to figure out what was going on here and they were interested because it's something very accessible. Wayfair is just on your phone. Everything's on your phone. Everyone could be a part of this story. I found that one influencer bought a table for $17,000 to see whether a child arrived. Um, I wasn't able to see what exactly happened from this, but it sounds like they just got a very overpriced table. Like I mentioned earlier, Wayfair has done everything in their power to remove everything from the internet, but um, they did have a statement back then about why their prices were so high. I honestly, I'm calling BS here, but I'll read it. The products in question are industrial grade cabinets that are accurately priced. Why do we have so many different cabinets, the same cabinets, all priced differently? That's BS. 
Recognizing that the photos and descriptions provided by the supplier did not adequately explain the high price point, we've temporarily removed the products and renamed them. So they've taken down the products and they're clarifying why they are so expensive, which I don't really, I, I wasn't able to find any evidence of them actually doing this. They did remove a lot of the cabinets, but it just seems like, again, very suspect. Like, why were they ever priced that much in the beginning? And now you said, oh, they're going to be back up on the website. Well, they're not. I did find one comment on Reddit and they mentioned the idea that this could be a money laundering scheme. I just wanted to mention that because I feel like that's a good idea. I mean, I think that human trafficking could be a thing, but it could be just money laundering because if it's not involving these missing children, which a lot of these missing children have come forward and said, you know, I'm not a part of this, then um, money laundering could be a good explanation. Nonetheless, there is too much evil going on in this world. And I, I have to include this one TikTok I found of like this shoe being sold on Walmart's website for so much money. And it's just like, uh, it made me super uncomfortable. $5,000 girl shoes. Look at this. Look, $5,000. Look at this. Petty Ped. Isabella. I click on her. $5,000. One left. Black. This is active. This is this morning I did this. Little kid is a, uh, <laughs> and and it goes on and on and on. Who? And look, people are commenting. Stop! Stop trafficking. This is insane. Okay, Walmart.com. Isn't that so scary, guys? I mean, I just cannot imagine that these websites that we use every day could be used for such evil. But I want to bring up the situation. And honestly, I want to make another Wayfair video exposing everything else about them because there's so much. But I feel like it's important to talk about this part separately because this is more of a conspiracy theory and there are parts of it that have been proved wrong. But there's like a lot more that Wayfair has been involved in. And there are a lot of sketchy companies out there. So if you have any ideas or recommendations for me, here is my email. I I will definitely make a video, but let's go ahead and open my PO box package item. So it looks like this is from Mike, Mike, I'll just say Mike. I'm not going to say your last name. And it looks like they're from the Midwest ish. I don't honestly, I keep saying the Midwest. Like I know what it is. I don't think I actually know what the Midwest is because like in one of my last videos, I was like, mm, is Tennessee the Midwest? I don't know. Okay. Oh, it looks like it's like some type of spray or something. Okay. Dear Sloan, I just want to say that I love your channel. I discovered you during the free Britney movement and I've been a loyal watcher since then. I love your willingness to speak up for things that are wrong. We need more YouTube channels like yours. Aw, we sell small batch moon water connection sprays. I want to send you my favorite one, the releasing blend. I figure in your line of work, it doesn't hurt to release negative energy. That's right. That's right, right there. The aroma spray was made under a flower full moon and charged with the essence of smoky quartz, clear quartz, and amethyst. Shake well and spray around your body to connect to releasing energy. Wow, that's so sweet. I could totally use that. And thank you, Danielle, for that. It looks like they own Lavender Sky Store, which I will list everything below. But let's go ahead and like give this a go because I already feel so drained. I'm so excited to get back to LA. Wow, I love this. Look at the product. A little like influencer moment. Oh yeah, this can focus. I love the focusing power. Ah, so good. Okay. Whoa. Oh my gosh, this smells so good. Oh my gosh, it's giving me, it's giving me fall. It's really giving me fall. I'm like, girl, did I spray too much? Oh yeah, that's good. That's really good. Thank you, Danielle. I love that. So good. Smells like a good, like even like a bed spray. Like, you know, you spray it before you go to bed, but thank you so much. Definitely go and check out their brand below. It smells so good. And I love that it's like a flower moon and all of that. It's so special. Thank you. And I'll see you guys in a new video soon. Bye guys.